everybody. Welcome to Leicester Deaf Centre News from Frog Island. Today, what is it we're going to talk about? We're going to talk about Deaf Netball East Midlands. And where is this taking place? Is this in Leicester? Yes, in Leicester. There's two ladies coming in today. And what are their names? Their names are Laura and Helen. And both of them have been playing netball for quite some time. Yes, that's right. We think it would be good if the two of them can let you know what's going to be happening. Hello, my name is Laura. What's yours? My name is Helen. And we're here to talk about netball. And if you're wondering what netball is, we'll tell you all about it. Yes, we're here specifically to talk about deaf netball in the Midlands. Laura, what are your experiences and background of netball? I have played from a very young age, playing with a hearing team, which I really enjoyed. At 11, I joined a deaf school, but there was no netball team, so I was a bit disappointed. At 16, I joined Willow Deaf Centre, which is based at Willow Leisure Centre, and saw a lot of older players, which made me excited. I played at Willow for many years, so I've played netball for over 20 years and still love it. Same, I'm similar to you. I played netball in primary and secondary schools, which are mainstream, and really enjoyed it. It kept me fit and was running around and scoring lots of goals back then. And at college and university, I didn't play, but I heard about a deaf team in Derby. So I joined your team, playing in a league every week. It was fun playing together and keeping fit and everything. It was a good time. Then I left due to personal reasons and I decided to join a hearing team locally. It was good playing with hearing people. But it had its challenges and barriers. I left and I've not played for around 10 years now. Well, that's a long time. I played as a child. I've stopped and I've started again. But my best time was playing three times a week, five a side and seven a side, both with different rules. Five a side is fast. Seven a side is more slow paced because there's more players to pass around. But I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed playing that three times a week. Then it gradually stopped. Things cropping up, people getting older, people moving away. And we need some more young people to get involved, don't we? Oh, I remember those five-a-side games. A lot of running around. My best time was when I was playing in the hearing league with the local hearing team playing every week. And I was awarded player of the match. So I felt really good. That's brilliant. Well, that was just one, but it was good. Anyway, I've always enjoyed netball. Laura. Your experiences playing netball had its difficulties and challenges. What were they? I've always enjoyed playing with a deaf team, but even this is a challenge because when we play against the hearing team, it can be difficult to understand the umpire and referee because of communication, which is a real barrier. Sometimes the deaf players get frustrated with that because we want to be able to talk to them. The hearing team can talk and shout to each other, and what that means often we're late in information. Deaf people need eye contact. The hearing team shouldn't talk. So there are incidences where it's not smooth. I still enjoy it, but it can be a problem. The umpires and the referees don't know BSL signs, which in netball is different to official signs. So we need to balance that. You're right. I remember it can be difficult against hearing teams because of them being able to shout where the ball is and throw it. I remember what that's like and they were quite fast too. So how can we improve deaf netball as a whole? What do we need to do? Well, really, the umpires, they need to be deaf aware. Have netball signs so we can agree and talk before we start the game. And some deaf think that flags should be used instead of whistles. So that means we're on an equal standing 
There's no disadvantage there and we're all in the same position. That's something we're looking to improve the game going forward. Can't really tell the hearing teams to be quiet because that's natural communication for them. The only way we can help each other is to help them be aware of our challenges and our barriers so they can understand and support us. So that way it's more of an even ground in netball. Okay, so talking about training, the Midlands Deaf Netball have been training twice so far and they've gone really well. We have BSL interpreters, referees who are deaf, who are very patient and great with everyone. And we have a great pool of people who can teach ball skills and provide coaching, which has been really useful. So, um, Laura, what's coming up next following the training? We've just started our training sessions and we hope to have more. We aim to grow the training in Leicester, Derby and the surrounding areas too in the Midlands. We want to grow to get the information out there to encourage people of all ages. We want to try walking netball, young netball, all different abilities. Everybody's welcome to join in the training. Be good for everyone. Yes, we want to encourage anyone from across the East Midlands. You can come from anywhere in the country to join in because this is open to all. We have events coming up, but this is also for those who might be lonely or who, or who have lost confidence, who are not sure. Come and join us. The netball coaching will match your skills and help you. They will help you with your ball skills, your understanding the rules of the court, understanding the netball signs like contact and obstruction, and they will teach you all of that. So don't worry if your confidence is low. Yes, it's for anybody and it would be great to socialise. So if you're lonely, think of netball and contact your friends because it would be great to build a deaf community for netball. It's paramount for deaf women particularly. So, we have a festival coming up and this will be happening in Leicestershire at a place called Saw Valley and this is in Leicester. And this will have coaching to match your skill set. Come and join us. It will be fun. And you'll learn new things and everybody will socialise. And you will be welcome and all be involved. There'll be food, interpreters, first aid, safeguarding and everything else will be there. What other details are there? There'll be lots happening. It's not only for Leicester, but for anyone outside. You're all welcome. You can come as a team or as an individual. There will be a bit of coaching and opportunities to play a game, have lunch with some food provided, or you can bring your own packed lunch. So the benefits are to meet people, learn ball skills, and just generally have fun together. It will be great. And I think also after the festival, we hope that it will grow. It will grow more so we can visit other places and take part in tournaments. And one extra bit of information, we talked about walking netball for people who can't walk or who have health problems. And we, we hope to introduce that. And we also hope to introduce a mixed netball team, which means that both men and women can play. So if you're a man or you're young or you're old, you walk or run, you're all welcome to come and join in the future. And that's the aim of Deaf Netball, isn't it? It would be great. This festival that's coming up is aimed for women only, but we would hope in the future to introduce walking and mixed netball. That's our aim so that we can grow. So do come, join us. And while you're watching this video, don't just think about yourself. Think about your sister, your granddaughter, your mum, your cousin, your auntie and everyone in your family and encourage your colleagues at work as well who you might think would like to join Deaf Netball. Let them know. You don't have to also be a deaf BSL user to join. You can be deafened, hard of hearing, partially deaf. Whatever your hearing loss, you are welcome. There'll be something for everyone. So please do contact us. There'll be further information contained within this video. So watch this space for further information about this event. Oh, it's exciting. Oh, I can't wait. Hope to see you there. Hopefully we'll see you there. Take care. Bye.
Oh, wow, that's interesting, isn't it? Wow, see Laura and Helen sharing all that information about deaf netball. You can be someone who's experienced at playing or you can be a novice. It doesn't matter. Everybody's welcome. This is all about learning. So if you're interested, come along, go, go and see. I think it'll be really good. It can help alleviate loneliness, and improve your well-being, improve your mental health and encourage you to be part of a team. And you'll have fun. And they said they'll be professional coaching and BSL interpreters there. That's great. So, the place is based in Leicester. And information will be contained within this video, letting you know where it will be. And the time is 10 until 4. I hope you're going to come. Let's see you there. You'll have some fun. You'll enjoy being part of a team. Come on. See you there. Bye.